What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of King Japes and today I want to retouch on a camera that I used to have a really skewed opinion on before in the past But I gave it a second chance and I really got to understand the full potential of the camera. So without further ado everyone Here's the Olympus XA revisited Now, when I first purchased my Olympus XA, I was really hyped about the camera. A lot of people made it seem like this was like the one and only camera to have. And you know, it, it was a really hyped thing at the time. And I think over time, you know, like within the past couple months, the XA hype kind of died down. And then now it's the, uh, you know, the Olympus Stylus Epic hype or the uh, Contax T2 with that Kendall Jenner thing going on. But the XA hype was real back when, you know, when I was in the hunt for one. And so I think what that did was it brought my hopes up and it made me kind of feel like, you know, I had high expectations for her camera. When I finally received the camera though, I was slightly disappointed. When I mean slightly, I was actually extremely disappointed. It wasn't what everyone made it out to be. I mean, I mean like, yeah, the features were there, uh, you know, as a max 2.8 aperture, as a sharp lens, but shooting it handling wise for the very first time, it, it just didn't add up and it made me feel like this camera wasn't my camera. It wasn't something for me. Initially, I thought of maybe, you know, just selling it or, you know, giving it to a friend or something like that. But for some reason, I held on to it. Before we get into anything else, I'm going to bring you guys down really quick and show you some of the complaints I had about the camera when I first got it and maybe why I didn't really like it. So I think some of the things that you know turned me off about this camera at first weren't really big issues it really might have just been taking time to learn and consider new things and you know it just was really hyped up for me i thought it was going to be everything that i wanted but unfortunately it wasn't so i'm going to first talk to you guys about what i didn't like about the camera initially one of the one complaints that i had was how light the shutter was literally listen you barely have to touch it it's like you, it's like a touchscreen, all right? So that was one of the complaints I had. And the reason, f the logic behind that was because I was constantly wasting shots, especially when you're on a 24 exposure roll, you don't have 36 frames and every shot counts, every shot is money, you know what I mean? So when you open this up and you accidentally press it, you waste the shot. So initially that was one of my complaints. The second complaint that I had about this camera was the rangefinder. Now, this is probably the best shot you're going to get at what the rangefinder looks like. And as you can see how tiny the viewfinder is already, that little yellow rangefinder patch was super small. It was almost hard to focus. And here's the focus though right here, all right? So it's right down here. Let me zoom this in for you real quick. This is the focus throw. So basically this focuses the rangefinder patch. And on the top of the camera, as you guys can see right here, it shows you the scale of difference. So it's literally like... That, that's literally how short the focus throw is. So that was one of the things that I really didn't like about the camera at first. And it was mainly just because I was so accustomed to shooting SLRs. Um, I wasn't used to shooting with rangefinders, and that was one of the turnoffs I had as well. All right, so now I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I loved about the Olympus XA. So over the time that I had from when I first got it up to the point now, I had a lot of time to shoot a lot and a lot, a lot of rolls through this guy. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the things that I hated was the electronic shutter and how freaking easy it was to shut it off. Like, ch look, check this out. That's insane, like, one more time. Now, at first, I seen that as a negative thing. But as I started to use the camera and started to shoot more street photography, I realized how important it was to have something that's absolutely silent. This thing literally can be, you can stand a foot away from the subject and you can take a photo without them even noticing you're there. Also, this camera is black which means that most of the time this thing's gonna blend. If you look, if you see me walking down the street and you see this thing pointed at you, of course you're gonna know you're a film photographer. <laughs> but for other people who are just, you know, just random people walking through the streets, walking with their daily lives, how do they know this thing's a camera? It literally looks like a toy. The thing that I really, really love now, at first, let me address real quick, I absolutely did not like the rangefinder patch. It was absolutely too small 
it wasn't that bright and it was really hard to nail focusing shots. And if you guys go back to that video, a lot of the shots I put on there missed. Plain and simple, I'm gonna be honest, is that's because I didn't know what zone focusing was. Now, my buddy Robert, uh, also known as Compact Camera Club, when we met up one day, he taught me about zone focusing, all right? And I started a zone focus and literally everything on this camera was buttery smooth. Everything on here was just butter. The XA is an absolutely beautiful camera. If you learn how to zone focus, you will have no issues with that rangefinder patch. If you absolutely want to nail focus, by all means, line up that patch. But zone focusing is all you need, especially with a focus throw this short. It's going to be lightning quick. And I almost forgot to mention, this lens opens up all the way to 2.8. It's a 35 millimeter lens, so it's pretty wide. So you're gonna get really nice wide angle for those street photography shots. You're gonna get really close to subjects if you really want them in, you know what I mean? It, like, you're gonna get them really tight. So absolutely beautiful lens. Some of the most amazing photos come from the Olympus XA that I've shot on film. Absolutely amazing. So over the last couple months, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, the XA has won my heart over. Um, I took this thing to Seattle and it was a blast to shoot. Absolutely stealthy, deadly. This thing, you can literally get this close to somebody and they don't know what the hell you're doing. It looks like a toy camera. And like we said, that's one of the great features this thing has. And on top of that, just listen to the shutter. That is insane. Now, this camera right here, initially my video was, could the XA, my idea for that video was, could the XA be the best street photography camera? And before I said no, it absolutely wouldn't be. But now that I've gotten a chance to handle the camera for a couple months to use it and really see exactly what the XA is about, absolutely. This camera right here would definitely be one of the best options you can get for a street photography camera. It's small, it's compact, it comes in black. This thing, the shutter is quiet. It has a 35 millimeter lens that's 2.8, like in a small little body like this, you can't beat that. You know, you can get the Olympus MJU2, you can get the Contax T2, whatever, but the XA Forever will always be one of the best street photography cameras in my opinion. Now with all that cleared up, I just want to thank you guys again for watching another video. I'm going to be doing a lot of more gear videos and photography videos because I know there's the bunch that like photos they like the artsy side they like everything about that and then there's the people who love gear just like me i love gear and i love both so what i want to do for the future of this channel is combine it and who i'm looking like i'm praying is combine it and you know create a community where we can talk about gear talk about composition uh, I, I shoot portraits too so I'm stepping into the realm of photography more and more as, you know, this channel grows. And I really do appreciate all the comments, all the love, all the hate, all the support you guys have been giving me because honestly, it's making me stronger and it's making me a better person every single day. So thank you guys for watching another King J's video. As always, the Olympus XA is a dope little camera. If you guys could pick one up, definitely do so. You might not like it at first, but give it some time. This has been King Japes. Till next time.